everyone, it's Julian. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about dropping out of school for music. I did this. I'm not going to be telling anybody to necessarily do it in this video. We'll be laying out kind of why I did it and also why it might be beneficial for you guys. It's not just about me, but my story maybe would resonate a little bit with yours and might kind of be similar to yours. So you could kind of get some insight from this video about it, right? And before this video starts, definitely check out electronicsamples.com as well as learn.electronicsamples.com, the best course in tech and the best college course that you could take for any music production, especially we're going to be talking about that in this video. Plus, electronicsamples.com got the best sounds in the game. Thanks for the support, everybody, and let's dive in. So, yeah, the first thing I want to talk about is, yes, yeah, so about five years ago now, I dropped out of college. I was going for two years. I was studying marketing because I felt like I kind of already knew the music, right? And, yeah, I just really, I could tell when I was in there, like, you know, there weren't going to be a whole lot of jobs waiting when I got out. I was losing my mind. I mean, if you're anything like me and you're like an ADHD person, right? You know, like the things you want to do, you really want to do. And the things you don't want to do, you really don't want to do. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are like this too. So you can probably relate, you know, it's just at a certain point, like, you know, your day, your day has to have some passion in it, basically, if you have ADHD. And it was just not that. And it's not just, obviously, life is hard. Obviously, you know, you got to put in work and do some things you don't want to do. But when the whole thing you're doing is something you don't want to do, maybe you need to sort of refresh and get a different perspective. So, yeah, I sat there. I did that for a little bit. And then, basically, what I did is I dropped out of school for, like, two days. I was kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life, like... I knew I wouldn't do music, but I wasn't sure how I was going to follow that. And then two days later, I started this YouTube channel. That's really the story. January 3rd, 2018. It was two days after I dropped out of school. And yeah, so from there, you know, I pretty much just worked and worked and worked. And I think that's the first thing with if you want to drop out is like, are you going to drop out and work and put in more work than you were putting at school? Or are you going to drop out and just now I'm doing music, but it's like, you know, very casual and you're not working hard? Because the first thing I'll tell you is like, you're probably going to have to work harder in music than you worked in college to do well. And maybe not with every degree. I know there's some degrees where people are definitely doing as much work as like the average music industry person. But you know, if you want to, let's say, like, you want to do what I did, right? Go from, okay, I'm studying marketing to now I'm running this whole business and got the growth of the business and got how am I going to monetize on my shoulders. You know, you're going to have to put in more work than you were probably to get the marketing degree. So I think that's the first thing that you want to keep in mind. But the benefit of this and my next point as to, like, why I dropped out and why maybe you might drop out as well is, like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but college is kind of giving, like, diminishing returns in the past few years, right? Like I've seen a lot of people go to college and come out and really struggle with a degree that shouldn't be like hard to find a job with, but really struggle to get a job. Or maybe they're even getting paid the same amount as somebody who just doesn't have a degree that just knew how to carry themselves and get in the interview and get the jobs, right? So that's kind of the thing is like I was watching that happen and, and it really is a big cultural shift that's happening. Like I just don't think it's what it used to be, especially in the USA where I am. Like, I know a lot of you guys are not in America, so maybe it might be a bit different. But over here, like, we're seeing it. Like, a lot of people that have degrees are really struggling to get jobs. And again, I've got friends that don't have degrees that are doing the same jobs as people that have degrees, getting paid the same amount, but without a whole bunch of student debt. So that was really the first thing is when I saw college kind of start to matter less, I was like, yeah, no, we got to. I'm going to do this. The other thing, the next point I want to make too is that, you know, college, even if you did go for music or even if you went to like one of these music production colleges, it's like the reality of that is like the music industry doesn't really respect those. Like to be very brutally honest with you, even if you have some master's degree in composition or something like that, it's like it just there's very there's no rooms pretty much in the music industry there's no rooms you can walk into pretty much and say like oh yeah like i study music theory in college and have them be like wow really like do everything you know what i mean like it just isn't gonna work like that because the truth is it doesn't matter what you have done on paper what matters is 
when you press the space bar, when you hit play on your laptop or on whatever thing you're listening on, when you hit play, is that music amazing? Does that music touch people's lives? You know, yada, yada, all the whole thing that you're trying to do. And college isn't really going to teach you that. And the other thing is, like, you know, try emailing a promoter for a gig and being like, oh, yeah, I went to Full Sail. Like, it's never, ever helped anybody. And so I think you need to be really real with yourself about that. Is like, you know, the music industry isn't really paying attention to the same metrics as the job market, right? So if you really are serious, like if you're one of the people that's in college right now saying, I'm going to use this for the music industry, I wouldn't do it personally. Because even if you want to be like on the management side or you want to be an A&R or you want to work with labels, like, Maybe some sort of basic degree can help, but there's so many people on those teams that haven't even looked at a day of college that just worked their butts off. And that's the thing is like, I think people look at college as, you know, maybe you might not have to spend as much time working or, you know, you get a four year chance to kind of chill and do your thing. But I mean, that's just not what the music industry is about. You know, you got to really put work in and you got to like, you know, it's not always just about, like, just follow this course and then do this and someone will tell you what to do. This is a job where you're going to have to kind of make your own work, you know. And that also goes back to my last point here, which is kind of like, I mean, if I'm being really honest, for music, I just think it's a bit of a waste of money. Not the knowledge. Like, if you want to go learn music theory or jazz piano or something like that, sure, you're going to get the knowledge. And that's one thing. Nobody can ever take what you learned away from you. But... Most of us are probably doing it to get a thing that they can walk in a room or put on a resume and say, hey, I've done this. I've got this degree. And I'm telling you right now, like the music industry, like you don't really need to worry about that. I would just get to work and try to get the distractions out of the way. Distractions being like energy you have to spend doing coursework. Energy you have to spend thinking about, you know, student loans and debt and all that kind of craziness that comes with college because it's not cheap, right? Um, you know, just so much of your energy would be saved by not doing that that could then go into making your artist thing or making your music or making your production as good as possible, you know? And I think, again, it's not for everybody, but really, like... If you can just get to it and kind of be a little bit of a worker bee and just get to work every day, like, you know, college can't teach you that and you're not really going to get that from school. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to make a little video talking about this. I know it's a really hot topic as far as music goes. And now, you know, I've given you guys my two cents on it. And that's my story as well. So, yeah, thanks for the support, everybody. Make sure to check out electronicsamples.com. Learn.electronicsamples.com as well. We've got the best sounds and the best courses in electronic music. Thank you so much for the support, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.